It's good, but it's really disturbing. <laughs> Hey guys, so this is uh, another review from the bucket list of movies I own. I don't know how I'm going to do it up there because I'm not taking my movies with me, at least most of them physically. Anyways, next one on the list was I Saw the Devil. Now, I just want to explain how I got this movie. Uh, a friend of mine, his dad, had a bunch of movies that he was giving away. And most of them were not the greatest, but I took a bunch of them. And when I saw this one, I put it on literally at midnight i don't know why i think because i thought there'd be english uh audio to it and there was it's not that very good um and i watched it till two in the morning i even like got up and i switched over to the korean so it didn't sound awful this movie is flipping amazing but it's disturbing Holy shit! This has two. These this has two of the uh, best South Korean actors in the business, if I'm correct. Uh, I'm not gonna try and pronounce their names. So I'm gonna put the subtitles here. This guy is a secret agent, sort of a high FBI guy whose wife is killed by this guy, who was from Old Boy, and he, um, the cop guy just basically goes insane and wants to not only he wants to get the guy who killed his wife, but he does that very quickly, and he's actually very brutal about it, but he's not, he doesn't want to kill him. And that's what makes this film so cool, is when he says, I saw the devil, you literally kind of wondering who is who, who is the devil in this film? Because at first you think it's the serial killer, because the guy's pretty messed up, he kills a woman who's pregnant, but then the agent guy is hell-bent on making this man suffer. And at first you're with him, you think that yes, he deserves what he's doing to him, but then he starts to go farther and farther and farther with his malice and you start to wonder who is the real villain here like is he gonna go too far is he gonna become something of a monster himself and that's the whole moral conflict of the film is that while this guy is doing all these things he's playing god with this killer and while at first you're with him he starts to turn himself into a monster and it's so great to watch not only is the the gore effects, brutal, but they're very, very good. But just the brutality of the film, some might say it goes a little too far, and there are some sequences, possibly the ending. The ending is a bit of a saw kind of thing, but I loved this movie. I was hooked the entire freaking time. The leads, even though I don't even know what they're saying, and I, I don't know, I, I never really pick out bad acting in foreign films. But I don't know. I from what I've read, it's all awesome. In my opinion, this the acting is awesome. The story is awesome. If you were very queasy with very disgusting stuff, if you didn't like the Saw movies, you might not like this. But the Saw part isn't the intention. It's what he's doing and the effect on his own psyche and what he's doing. And the ending, I love the ending. The ending of this film is fantastic because it has such a such a whoa moment and. In the end, I Saw the Devil is one of the most brutal films I've ever seen. It definitely pushes you for comfort levels. But just the idea, if any of you are interested in criminology, or if you're in, in criminal psyche, watch this movie. I guarantee you will like it. Either way, guys, in the end, I'm going to give I Saw the Devil a 7 out of 7. I think this is one of the best serial killer films I've ever seen. I think it's one of the best crime drama films I've ever seen. It has a very unique concept. It has great characters, great acting, and a great moral basis. And I think this film is amazing. I love it. So if you've never seen it, watch it. All right, so we watched I Saw the Devil. So, you know, it takes me, what is it? It takes me about, if to do this bucket, it takes me, originally my original speed was like what? two movies a year so this will speed up hopefully wanted well okay i can't i already did that uh, link here oh okay so the next one's going to be no country for old men sweet can't wait to do that all right guys i'll see you later